Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a physics 7C practice problem on the topic of the electrostatic model. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So this is a problem that we're gonna be solving today. A negatively charged particle is moving at a constant velocity when it enters a region with a constant electric field. The charged particle slows its speed, but it does not change the direction it travels due to its interaction with the electric field. So we have to draw appropriate field vectors for this electric field and then explain which direction the field is pointing. Then after it enters the electric field, we are asked whether it is, uh, whether the charged particle is moving to a region of higher or lower electric potential. And then uh, the third thing that we have to answer is whether the particle is moving to a region or of higher or lower electric potential. And then we have to explain our answer. So this is a case that we are going to be working with over here. And first of all, I just want to recommend people look at your FNT2 that's due on the L13 because, you know, I was just looking at the DL notes. Uh, that I have from when I do 7C and I think that if you have done this FNT then honestly you should be pretty much okay with this uh, problem because we're gonna be needing so this FNT is like a like a square with a, like relationships between force and electric field and then electric field and electrostatic potential and so on so if you haven't done that then definitely check it out because uh, you know this entire um, practice quiz comes down to whether you know how things relate to each other. So the first thing that we have to do is draw the field vectors for this electric field. So this guy basically comes over here and then as soon, so let's, this is, let's just go, let's just say that this is V1 because it's initial. And then as soon as it enters over here, what happens is that this charge is going in the same direction as initially, but at a lower speed. So like this velocity vector is um, smaller, right? But it is, same, it is still in the exact same direction. And I'm just gonna define that as positive because usually, um, you know, we have X and then we have Y and then this is positive and negative. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this thing is still going um, east, so like positive x direction. Now, the first relationship that we need to figure out is, or well, the first thing that it would be good to remember from physics 7b, which this is just how am I gonna solve the problem. There are a lot of ways in which you can solve this problem, but I'm just gonna go ahead and quote 7b, is that um, delta p, is equal to a net force delta t. So this is from physics 7b. Now in this case, delta p, we have a particle that is slowing down, right? So it had a certain velocity and then it's slowing down which means that its momentum, its delta P, is going to be negative. It's going to be negative because it's slowing down. Now, delta T is always positive. Because it's a change in time, so if you go from here to here, then you're going positive in time, and time doesn't really go negative on the 7 series. So t is always positive. So in order for this number on the left side of the equation to be a negative number, then that means that the net force must be negative. So we need a negative force here. If we want this to happen, the force that this particle is uh, experiencing over here must be negative. Now, going to your equations from physics 7c, we know that F, which is the net force in this case because we're only experiencing one force, um, is equal to charge times the electric field. Charge being this negative charge, 
and the electric field being this negative, uh, this electric field, which we don't know if it's plus or minus. Now the force must be negative. So this number must be negative. And this number over here, this little Q, is, um, is also negative because it's a negatively charged particle. So if we want this number on the left side to stay negative, and this is negative, then what we need over here is positive. What does positive mean in this case? Well, positive means in the same direction of this particle. So negative would mean going west, positive means going east, because that's just how I defined it to be. And uh, so positive in this case means in the same direction as this uh, little particle in terms of vectors. So now we just have to draw an appropriate field vector for this electric field. So we don't really know anything about magnitudes. We just know that, you know, my final answer must be a bunch of electric field vectors just going uh, in the same direction as this particle. So E direction final answer. So that would be my final answer. So now we're gonna move to part B. So part B is asking me about the um, electric potential. So how do we figure this out? Well, again, this is very useful because we can keep relating things. So by definition, uh, the electric potential and the electric field are related by negative change in B. So this is the equation. Now we know that E is positive. We know that. And then negative signs are negative signs. So this is just a negative sign multiplied by something here. If this must be positive and we have a negative sign, then that means that delta V must be a negative number. And delta means final minus initial, right? So this must be negative number. So that means that this, uh, so that means that VI is greater than BF. So final answer would be that the particle is moving uh, towards a lower potential electric potential final answer it's going from um, higher to lower that means that it's moving towards a lower potential and this is just playing with my signs this one is positive from part a these negative signs are always negative though and so then this has to be negative so now let's just go ahead and look at part c so part c they are asking about electric potential energy so part c uh, what happens to potential energy? Is it going up or is it going down? Now, if you look at your triangle or if you look at your equations or your notes, then we have an equation that goes that, that says that potential energy electric is equal to Q times delta V. And then we just go ahead and do the exact same thing that we did before. Delta V from part B must be negative. Q from the problem that they gave us is negative in this case. So we would have minus time, uh, negative times negative. So that would mean that Delta P must be positive and Delta P Again, it's just final minus 
initial. And because it's positive, that means that PE final is greater than the initial. So that means that we are moving towards a higher electric energy final answer. So this basically solves this quiz. It is a pretty easy quiz if you remember your relationships you know, between your quantities, if you remember that electric potential is not the same as potential energy. And then if you remember your, your definitions and then your vectors and stuff, uh, it becomes a pretty easy quiz after that. Uh, just a little tip, when it comes to these sort of quizzes where you just have to answer higher, lower, or whatever, if you just guess, then you're gonna get zero points because guesses are very heavily penalized on the seven series. So I would say that more important than the final answer is the logic that you're using. So what it's, what's gonna give you full marks on this problem is just doing this part. The final answer, if you just go ahead and put a final answer and you don't explain it, you're gonna get zero points. I guarantee that because uh, the seven series, well, physics as a whole is not about just guessing things. So just be mindful if you uh, stumble across a problem that looks like this, uh, guessing is literally the worst thing in the entire world that you could do. Even if you just put like one or two sentences of an answer, like at least you are trying to explain yourself. So you're just gonna, you're just gonna go upwards in points. Now, depending on the quality of the explanation, that's how many points you're gonna get. But if you just like straight up guess, that's literally a why, which means zero points. This is just a guess, it doesn't count. So anyways, this is the end of our practice problem. If you found this helpful, please make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys on the next video.